Hey Dad, and welcome back, Cal Pokes. Welcome to another episode of Hey Dad Game for a Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. Um, we left off last time pretty much uh, doing a bunch of optional and side quest missions here for San Denis and Shady Bell. And an hour in San Denis and checking in on, I think it's Charles Chatney and uh, Mary Linton. And uh, I think we're going to Mary Linton first. Yes. But what I would actually like to do before I do that is hit up the tailor one more time. Make sure we're here. Best dress for Mary. And then I might even get a bath for her. I'm not going to shave or do anything with my beard because, well, we're trying to hit that magic ten to length you? on both. <clears throat> Mister? Get a load of this, Rube. It's real funny. I'm only joking with you. I was only messing, partner. Excuse me, partner. Good morning. You're back. Welcome. Now, let me have a look. I think I bought everything here, but I'm going to check one last time. Since we've got over 5k stuff. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Try to go with one of the I more stand behind everything I sell in this place. Most toity so toity for Mary. With confidence. All right then. But if there was anything in there that caught me. Thank you. Now let's go get ourselves a bath quick. This is one of my wife Sarah's favorite parts of the baths. She loves it. How are you? I bring you knowledge from the east. The knowledge. Mom, can I get another bloody drink? Yeah, over here? Yeah. Where Hello. is Tom? Everyone's alive. It's too bad. Table. It really That's is. No lie. Can somebody horse whip him for me, please? <sighs> for the love of all that is holy. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. Oh, I drank too much. So, what'll it be? I need a bath. That's okay. This Can you job organize? Is so I'll have the girls make it for you. Boring. Je vous salue. All of you. You're all boring. You should be ashamed of yourself. So boring. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among the lot of you. The place used to be sophisticated. Stories up. And there you go, sinking into the bath. <laughs> you need some help in here? Well, why not for 50 cents extra? Sure. Sounds good. 
Good choice. Good choice. All right. If it gets cold on you, holler. Ain't a woman here do a better job than me. My dog Copper used to take baths with me when he was alive. Well, this bath's got you quite relaxed, don't it? I don't half gossip around here. Yeah, someone's always kicking up dust around here. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Yes, certainly. Number of times I nearly died the past few weeks, you wouldn't believe. I'm sorry to hear about that. So, you spoken for? You sure do ask a lot of questions. What do you do in your free time? Got a sister I'm trying to take care of, so she gets all my time. <laughs> Breathe real slow. It'll help you slow down. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Are you looking to have some fun? I think you... One of those? No judgment from me. I would not have expected her to say that my last pomade has not worn off yet. Hey, folks. Bonjour, monsieur. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Hmm. Monsieur? Thank you for your help. I bring you knowledge from the East. The knowledge of New York. The brilliant minds of Wall Street brought here to the South. To help those wise enough to help themselves. Let Hello, me sir. help you help yourselves. Hello, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Sure. Yeah. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. I will only help the wise, for the foolish are beyond saving. You're still here? You are clearly in no rush to become rich beyond your wildest Don't dreams. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. I promise great riches yes. in exchange for a book. Read this book, follow my simple guidelines, and opulence awaits. I can't offer you anything more. Everything that is in my head is in that book. Boy, there sure are a lot of words, but they sure don't mean a lot. Servants and rule over their own kingdom. Now you can, as thanks to my book, you'll be extremely rich. This is what America was made for—the chance for the cream to rise to the top. It's time you proved you were cream and not milk. I don't know if I can inter interact with them anymore right now. Listen! 
Ignore me at your peril. At your peril, I say. You'll be hey, kitty. And I'll be rich. Hey there, and kitty. And so will those of you with the wisdom to pay attention, to learn from the best, <coughs> from the kind of rich fellow who doesn't give a fool a break, but cares about those who care about themselves. Come on. I want to help you. Arthur! It's Mary. I'm here! You came! Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter. And wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur... Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Oh, think Arthur. How different oh, life Arthur. Been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. Oh, Arthur. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. What but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Where you at? What the hell is this about? Yeah. Weren't my fault that guy walked off the sidewalk into the road.
This is the place. Oh, we know this Let place. Let me well. go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Just... Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired? I am no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. Mm, He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. Down here. He went around the corner. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. <sighs> we'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh? quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. <sighs> Sexual what you tension, baby. I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. So rude, Mary. I took a bath and put on one of my more expensive outfits for you. He just went Couldn't left down that yourself. alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. 
Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even I've made a to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself well, killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. Yep. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You'll probably kill someone. Hey, you, Ashton! Hold her right there! Coach. I thought my horse was closer. And it didn't move at all from its spot, even though I've been calling it this whole time. Why? I don't know. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Yeah. I bet, and I hope I'm there to see it. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. 
head to the theater, perhaps. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. I love the theater. Strangest We've already seen a few acts, so yeah, let's go check out a few. Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Thunderous applause. I yeah, am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality just as a proprietor Are you in of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare! for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to this dabble in best. all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better That's than any it. packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. I tried to cheer, but they took it away. Why would he announce her? This place we all love called Saint Denis. But can't you 
Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? You yes, see just this? pure spectacle. And I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Go on. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Ooh. Stop it. Amazing. We saw some of this fire show before, at least for sure. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. of anything worse. This is something. Yeah, fire lady. She's got the moves like Jagger. Enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> bring it! It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Give us some more. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Oh, incredible! Aren't they Woo! lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. So what a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. It was. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me. 
Arthur, run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. But only in extreme emergencies when I need your help. Together here. <clears throat> I go sell this panther pelt here to the trapper. Seven. All right, let's have a look. All made to measure. Ever see a white buffalo? Oh, they exist. I've seen one far west of the Grizzlies. Blizzard came in and I lost it. Eve. Next, actually, is go back to Valentine and do that uh, doctor's office oh, excuse me. <coughs> that we had found before and didn't quite That's execute cool, at the girl. time. You ought to take care of that one. Your problem. 
Good evening to you. Fine evening to you. Valentine, there it is. It's been a while since we've been back in Valentine, you know? This is your stop, pal. Appreciate the ride. See you around. Girl? Oh no, it looks like we got a stranger mission coming up here. I think you see some action. Well, I guess you ain't never gotten to Mexico. Yeah? So, I can use a feller like you. You wanna make some easy money? Come with me. I can't talk you. <clears throat> Go on, get! My bastard of a friend double-crossed me again, and I ain't gonna stand for it this time. So listen, he's staying at the nearby hotel. You rob him, we split the money. What do you say? Sure, why the hell not? Okay, he's at the saloon tying one on, so go ahead to 1B in the hotel and look for us easy money. You know, they caught Jenny's boy pinching apples from the county store. Oh. You're back. No need to fret, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. Room 1B. End of the hall. I hear any trouble? Well, I better not. <laughs> You can rob me, do you? I split your skull. You're gonna be a corpse now. Wasting my time. If you come back here Don't causing more problems you like have a this, good night. I'll get the sheriff. You hear me? Well, <laughs> please just leave now. Watch yourself. So, did you get the money? Out of my word. Serve him right. That money should have been mine anyway, rat bastard. You're right. Easy money. How are you? All right, I think I'm gonna rest until it's more important here now, even after that.
Yeah, sleep on a nice bed for the night, why not? Let's see what all we got going on in Valentine here. Sleep well? Thanks, partner. No, Brother Brodus, you're simply not a gentleman. My friend. You there. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look <coughs> like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Either way, everybody... Okay, knows. then. <laughs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. We're waiting. Good shot, sir. I did it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. <laughs> under duress, absolutely. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Oh, he got it. Of course. There it goes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Why? I must... Excellent. Oh. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Quite too much. Nope, my sweet. Quite too much. All right, now let's go do what we came here to do, and that's rob the doctor's office. So we saw the law man getting shifty and taking some money from here a while ago. <clears throat> Forgive me. What do you want? This is private. Get lost. And now we know that's there. Welcome, sir. You new patient? Customers love the gum if you're in need of some energy. No getting sick if you chew too much. Take as much as you need. Gotta make sure I'm just not attracting any more attention than I need to, even though I'm sure I am. Hey! 
Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. Hey, you I'm make doing them it. open Take it up. Easy. Or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Thought you were that cowpoke who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like it. Frickin' Dr. Lift, I thought about knocking him out, but I was like, let me take care of this first. gonna have to go. Got a little bounty, but we got a Schofield revolver out of that, I would say. So that's pretty cool. Hey, you're okay, girl. Let's get there, girl. There.
Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna head out to Strawberry, see if Hector has anything else. There might have been another bounty still in Rhodes or Santa Anita. Double check those. Before we start wrapping up main missions, just make sure we hit all these little side missions before they disappear. something here that might be of interest. What you got for me this time, Hector? Coach heading to Appleseed Timber. It's supposed to be a lot of guns. Might want to catch them off guard. Okay. Three star buck. Help me! Shh, help me. Girl, won't help take me long. I ain't never touched her. It's a damn lie. Stay back. This here's official business. That's not what the paper says, and I ain't like to believe you anyway, boy. I got my Lindy back at the homestead. Why would I do this? Okay, huh? girl. Yeah. Easy, girl.
Well, I'm pretty effective at getting coaches to stop by just shooting their drivers. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Not at all. Why is that what happened? There we go. That's what I wanted was to do that. And in fact, I wanted to check. We're not as far as sometimes we are, but we're still not that close. This way before the find what I was looking for. Let's see if we can find it this time. Good girl. There, girl. Easy there. Yeah. Checking the chimney, but I think what we actually want to do is check over here. That's it. And we find ourselves another hatchet. Nice. Come on. All right, game. Well, we're starting to run out of time here. I think we're we'll all a station. Yeah. See if anything catches your fancy. Got my full stock in there.
All right, I think like I've got everything here finally. Know how to run a good business? Be tough, be smart, and be fair. All right then. I think I have any other bounties or anything? No. All right, well, cowpoke, strangers, and other gentlefolk. And dad. <laughs> Thanks for your assistance. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking some time to be with me here today. And, uh, yeah. Love you, Dad. And take care of everybody else out there. Until next time.